Well, hello there, and thank you for joining us here at Coolest Life. My name is Tony. I'm here to take you on a tour of St. Andrew's Lodge number 212 here in St. Andrew's, Florida. It's actually its own little community. It's just outside or south of Panama City. Not Panama City Beach, but Panama City. But you can probably see Panama City Beach not far from here. This is their building here, and watch, let's take a look at this prime real estate. Look where it's located. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Nice view from directly outside this lodge. We're gonna go inside and get us a tour because you've just entered the coolest life, uh, Masonic Edition. News, I am in. We've actually met an old friend here, Mr. Scott Pless from out of Columbus is here. So he's here. Luckily, he can vouch for me. <laughs> Actually, I think a couple of those other guys I, I sat with in another lodge meeting that I had on Monday, so uh, which is across town. But this wood that they have here, as you can see by the other picture, if you were watching those pictures at the beginning, I showed you a picture of the um, of the kitchen. You can tell that it was white, so it's nothing like what this room here looks like. So let me show you what this one here looks like. It's like most lodge, lodges, they have a uh, sign-in book here. This is pretty customary, you see. We saw at our last meeting and They've got some nice, uh, nice work in here like that. A lot of times you'll see pictures across the top in in this room here, but not so much in here. They do have two Tyler swords, it looks like. These are all your past masters in here. Oh, uh, they got all the past masters in there. Yeah. And you can see the little aprons they have here. Those look cool. So they got their past masters around. I really like the touch where they have the past masters. They've got their actual names here. Print in what's that one there say? Did you bring your past you. master apron? Oh yeah, yeah I did. Yeah, I got it. I always, I always bring my past master apron. I'll be right before that in the lodge. I think I got it downstairs somewhere. So this is their senior warden area, and you can see that they've a um, couple of things I want to note. I most staffs are a little larger, a little thicker than this, but this is in a really good condition. The pewter and everything up top. The uh, Celestial globe isn't exactly uh, to specs. <laughs> you see a lot of them that are a little more, a little more detailed than that. But we have seen some of those before. Really like the uh, workmanship of the column there. Uh oh, someone left their mitts. So I like the podium there. Let's see what they got. Oh, nice. And we see a lot of these uh, point within a circle. And I always mention we don't see a lot of these in the state of Georgia, but we do see a lot of these in Florida. In fact, I don't think I've been in a Florida lodge that didn't have one of these. And this is not just a print. This is actually three-dimensional here. Always like seeing those. Um, got the regular globe there. It's definitely an old building. I don't know exactly what year this uh, lodge was founded. I'll put it right here somewhere. So you can see what year this was founded. A lot of times you'll see a podium out here on this side, which is the north end. Uh, maybe before, because they have an eastern star. My guess is they may put a ballot box here. Sometimes when they ballot, they'll, they'll not put a ballot on the altar. They'll actually put it on a, a side stand. That may be the case right here. Uh, looks like they got a projector system here. Some lodges will use that for degree work. They may, they may not. I don't know. Haven't seen the degree work. Um, there's looks like their charter. Right up there. This, of course, is where their worship master will sit. You don't see a lot of these going around the top either in lodges. Yeah, um, well, I, I like it. Really. I like it too. It really stands out. I think probably the first place I saw that at, we were I, we were in Ocean Lodge in Brunswick that's got one of those. But theirs was uh, the tin that you would see on some ceilings that was Masonic logos, and they had those going. It was it was about a foot. It dropped down all the way around. It's really nice. Uh, you got your uh, rough ashlar. You got your perfect ashlar here. The last lodge we were in, their their ashlars were about half that size. Looks like they got some ballot boxes here. Oh, good. Uh, don't, these are, this is definitely one of the older styles. In fact, there's not even a knob here. Normally we'll see a knob there, but you can see that's a lift up. Ooh, those look crusty. I like it. That's actually, those are, th these are actually wood too. These are not, um, plastic balls or cubes. These are actually made of wood, so those are real nice. I just did a vote for Yeah. <laughs> so he's checking the year when they get their charter. It's it's probably on their charter. I'll look at it here. I don't like that. That's a nice box. And then here's a box also, it looks like. 
Nope. Not election box. And let's see. Uh, 1913 is when they were chartered. Nice. Um, you see this hat here? This hat is real common. I've seen this in New Jersey. It seems like all of their city masters would wear a hat a lot like that. A lot like that hat there is what this hat is. What this hat is. It looks a lot like the hat that they wear. No, it's a more purple. So, but it's really nice. You can see it says St. Andrews across there, two two twelve. Yeah. And we've got. He's talking about me now. <laughs> And you see they got beauty here. We don't see a lot of this in different lodges where well, this one says beauty and that one says strength. And that one there for the master sense says wisdom on the front of it. They got story, George Washington. And uh, that's a junior warden desk there. And last but certainly not least, I want to show you the altar. So your altar is here. They got a nice uh, embroidery. Uh, material here really good condition old got some age to it uh we saw this at uh ira lindsay lodge where the where the three three lights were up in front and this is only the second lodge i swear i've seen that at i don't recall seeing the location of those up here in any other lodge except for these two and they said all the lodges in the panama city area are like that this is definitely a masonic bible i like that got the york right logos on it Really good condition. I like to see all these, these older Bibles. They've always got some interesting things in there. They're, we don't typically look through them very much, but we know that they're in there. Um, especially some of this more detailed information here. Normally we see the, the picture of King Solomon's Temple, and, and we definitely see this picture here. But uh, nice Bible. Shows some age on it. It's really good. I really like it. I want to show you this was sitting in the back corner. This is where they would put their uh, their their master's aprons. They don't seem to be using it, obviously. And I mentioned before that typically when you see something like this is because more than one lodge is here or another organization will actually meet here doing this. And I didn't see this either. This is a, a staff for the marshal. And I do like these doors. And they're nice sliding doors. Sliding doors. So I can close. The door over there is also a sliding pocket door like that one. So if you ever get a chance here in the Panama City area, be sure to come visit these brothers. I'm sure they welcome you like they did me. We had meat, spaghetti, and meatballs, not just spaghetti and a bunch of sauce. So it was awesome. Uh, you can come visit him at St. Andrews Lodge number 212 here in uh, St. Andrews, Florida. But I'm going to let you go. Be sure to like and subscribe and check our other playlist that we have that has says Masonic Buildings from around the country. It's going to have it's going to have this uh, a lodge uh, video plus other lodge videos from around the country to include the rest, a whole bunch I got from the state of Florida. All the way up to New York and all the way out to, I think I got one from Hawaii. I've been to Hawaii, but I don't know if I did a video. <laughs> but anyway, be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. <clears throat> so you are now leaving the coolest life, Masonic Edition.